Hello, hello, welcome to this new video. This time I want to show you how to do packet captures in Cisco Meraki. Uh, in order for you to do that, make sure that you are logged in to your management console and you have the, uh, the proper permissions to uh, do that. Then you would go to network wide and you would go down to uh, packet capture. Uh, once you are here, you're going to have the option of selecting the device that you want to perform the packet capture on. As you can see here, you have packet capture and you have the option of selecting the um, Meraki device you want to perform the capture on. Uh, if you are a Meraki shop and you have many Meraki devices in your network or different type of devices such as uh, MXs, MRs, uh, the switches, the, uh, the cellular devices, the cameras, you'll have the option right here to select those devices. So in this case, um, let's do, for instance, I'm going to select access points. And let's just wait a second to refresh. And when it selects, uh, when you select, in this case, the access points or the cameras or the MX devices, uh, the system automatically is going to, if you have more than one, it's going to group them into uh, categories. As you can see here, it shows all access points, but perhaps you don't want to do the capture on all access points, right? Most likely you want to do the capture um, on specific devices instead of all devices. So what you would do is simply uh, click on the X, remove it, and then you will have the option of adding that specific device you want to do the capture on. In my case, I only have one access point. This is in my uh, test lab environment. So you would select that, but if you have 10, 20, or hundreds of access points, you will, you will see them listed here, and you have to find the one that you want to work with. Um, also keep in mind uh, this uh, interface option, right? Uh, it's going to vary per device, of course. Uh, but you know, if you're doing wireless, make sure you select wireless. Um, and then the output of the file is going to be a pickup file, meaning that you know you can open it with Wireshark or with any other type of devices that support pickup. Uh, the default um, duration is going to be one minute. Uh, it's going to be 60 seconds. Uh, but you can change that to whatever you want, right? Five minutes, two minutes. The maximum is going to be uh, 3,600 seconds, which means an hour. Or it's going to be, um, uh, it's going to stop after, no, I believe this is going to stop after 100,000. That is if you do uh, 360 uh, seconds, right? But the maximum time that the, the capture can run on is um, an hour. So, I mean, that's enough time if, if you know, if we're looking for something specific or if you need more time, maybe you have to find a different type of solution for this. Uh, and right here is where you would use your capture filters, and that is based on TC dump syntax. And if you click right here on this option, it's going to give you a list of uh, TC dump filters or capture capture filters that you can use uh, for for this capture. Right, so you could do that, or you can simply uh, start the capture. Right, and as you can see here, I have that for 360 seconds. You see the time going up in here, so I'm going to stop it. And since I have Wireshark already installed to my computer, when I click on the file, uh, that's going to um, open up in Wireshark. And as you can see here, I didn't, I didn't apply any, uh, any. Um, packet capture filters in here. So I captured everything from all devices going over the access points on the Wi-Fi, on the wireless interface. But, um, you know, sometimes this is better to do because, you know, now I can apply the display filters on Wireshark. So, you know, that way, you know, I, I didn't run it for a long time. So I know that I captured a lot of data because I captured everything in you know that specific amount of time, but it worked for me because 
you know, I stopped the capture and now I can apply the display filters to make sure that I didn't miss anything. You know, if, if you apply uh, a capture filter and then you, oh my God, I should have applied a different type of filter, uh, you're not going to be able to do it on that same capture, right? Because you didn't capture that information at the beginning. Um, and again, you can, you know, change the devices down here. If you go like, for instance, to uh, security appliances, uh, let's just wait for this to uh, refresh. Sometimes it takes a minute, well, not even a minute, seconds. Uh, again, you have to pay attention to the interface, right, that you're going to apply the capture on. So as you can see, I have the internet, LAN, side to side. You have all these options, so make sure that that you select this, otherwise you may uh, capture um, data on an interface that is not what you're looking for. And the same thing goes for the, um, if you come down here to uh, switches, uh, you'll see that you'll have the option of adding the, uh, the ports that you want to perform the capture on. So uh, that's how you do um, packet captures in Cisco Meraki. It's super simple, super useful. I hope this helps. Um, if you liked this video, just uh, give me a click on the like button, and uh, I hope it helps. Have a great day. Bye.